So apparently malware can convert your headphones into microphones. My name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and we're going to be looking at something that Hackread points out in their article, Malware Can Convert Your Headphones Into Microphone for Hackers, to which I almost fell out of my chair. Just let's, let's be honest, this shouldn't really be a thing. I figured out as a kid what I'm about to tell you by accident. And here is the thing. Let's start off with your hearing. We only hear an analog. There's no such thing as digital for us. We can only hear because sound waves create different variants in pressure for our ears. That's how we hear. That's how we designed our hardware to work. And we're going to start off with the fact that that hardware, that chip responsible for that specific task is called a digital analog converter, often referred to as the DAC. It is part of your sound card. Headphones can only give you sound in your ears because whatever audio file, your MP3 player, your, your cell phone, your tablet, or even computer or laptop is trying to generate, that file goes through a DAC that actually creates a pulsating stream of electrons that moves a coil around a magnet, vibrating a skin, creating a sound wave that we can hear. At no point is there malware that can affect this process. Let's just put that out there. However, and this is the part that I figured out as a kid by accident. Headphones can be microphones because they actually work in the exact opposite direction of microphones. So all you have to do is tell the computer it's a microphone by either literally going into the sound card settings of newer motherboards and telling it it's a microphone or just plugging it into an input, then speaking into it. You speaking into your headphones will vibrate the skin, move the coil around the magnet, generating a pulsating stream of electrons in the other direction that the DAC can interpret and save as a file for listening later. No malware can actually cause this. This is entirely based in physics. It's just the reversed process of what's going on. Also, it is impossible to record and listen to sound at the same time with the same hardware. So what's going on? Well, malware would basically be telling this DAC that the output is now an input which you would immediately notice if your audio cuts out. So obviously viruses won't target while you are listening to music, meaning that the easiest way to defeat this malware is to unplug your speakers and headphones whenever you're not using it, which I do. I don't know how many of you do, but I actually do turn off my sound system or my headphones whenever I'm not actually using them. So obviously, so basically malware can only do this if it can get A into your computer and B, be able to use hardware that's not currently in use. So should you be afraid of this? No, just keep your computer clean. Don't download from stupid places and use an antivirus every once in a while to make sure your computer doesn't have a virus in it. And then you should be fine. Nobody's that interested in what you have to say anyway. So I hope you don't start panicking for no reason whatsoever. Like this episode if you like it. Dislike it if you didn't. Share with those that you think can benefit from this. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to tqaweekly.com for everything else. And of course, if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes 24 hours in advance of everyone else. Thank you in advance. Have a great day and goodbye.